And I just want to come out and say, why should, why should somebody buy and read King? It is the black history that you never knew. It is the American history that you never knew. None of this is taught in school. But when you talk about the progression and the development of these United States of America, a lot of people have chosen to leave out the policy era. Once you understand that you have a better understanding of this country, why people should buy and or read this book. If you want to get a true sense of what black folks were doing back in the day, you will find no better book that presents that story. Again, the book shows you a time when black folks were in control of the neighborhoods, when black folks were in control of the politics, when black folks were in control of the economic resources of the town that we live in. There are reasons why we lost all that. So when we look around the neighborhoods today and we go, you know, God, what happened here? And how come black folks don't have this, that, and the other? It's no accident that you don't know the answer to that question, and it's no accident as to the reality of how it came to be this way. Once upon a time, black folks were generating a lot of wealth. The mob, the city cops, state's attorney cops, county sheriffs, state police, all got together to bring down the system that was being run by these brothers. The stories have been erased, so you didn't go to school knowing this story. And if you were growing up at the time when policy was becoming the state lottery and you heard your mama, your daddy, your grandmama, your Aunt Joan or whoever talking about, oh, that ain't nothing but policy when they're sitting up looking at some TV commercial for the state lottery. What happened to you was what happened to me when I asked my mama, mama, what's policy? Boy, stay out of grown folks' conversation. Go on outside. Little did I know at that time in 1974 in the early 70s and what have you. Uh, Chicago or the state of Illinois was going through the biggest controversy ever, man. The taking of was once a black thing, generating tons of money to take care of black folks, was now in the hands of white folks, and we knew we were not going to continue to benefit from it. There was a movement at a time to legalize policy. This was after we came up with the lottery. Certain city council members at that time, Cliff Kelly, was one of them. We're fighting for the legalization of policy. Cops are going out here arresting black people involved in policy, but they're not touching the white boys. That kind of thing still goes on today with drug dealers, doesn't it? <laughs> so why is it important to read this book? If you want to know the real black history, you can find it in the pages of Kings. And beyond that, you will probably find members of your own family. Policy was the biggest phenomenon in black American history, make no mistake about it. Never stops being about the money. The only question is, what happens to the money? When it became the state lottery, it was supposed to take care of the schools. Education. Don't even get me started on that one. You know the answer to that as well as I do.